wholeheartedly commend this bill to the House. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I call Sarah Dowie, five minutes. Thank you, Mr Speaker. It's an absolute surprise, actually, to take a call on uh, this Education Teaching Council of Aotearoa Amendment Bill in its third uh, reading because um, I am no longer the chair of the Education and Workforce Select Committee, and I certainly didn't expect to take a call after the previous speaker had only spoken for two minutes, despite her being so excited about this pedestrian bill that simply goes to change a name. This government is something else. They campaigned on a fairer, transparent government. Did we get that? No, we got the sacking of their minister for open and transparent government, Claire Curran, because she is a disgrace. And not in the bill, so you come to the I will bill. certainly come Thank back you. to the bill, Mr Speaker, because I'm coming to the fact that this is a government that is completely out of ideas. They've been disgraced in their record that they campaigned on, and I'll come back to it. Uh, Transparency gov government, fail. Environmental record, fail. Uh, industrial relations, and look what we've got. We've got a Labour-led government trying to grapple uh, with New Zealand First and with the Greens, and they can't seem to bring them together. Uh, and now what have we got warning, here? We've got the, warning, the Education, the the education Teaching of Council of Aotearoa Bill. And what does it do for $695,000 changes a name? And this is on the back, and we know that this government likes reviews. We know that this government likes reviews because I lost count when we got to about 300, but this is on the back of a review that was done in 2010, a comprehensive review that looked to raise the standard of teaching in New Zealand. And we've heard on both sides of the House that that's what we agree on. We want our teachers to be held in high esteem. We want our teachers to be well supported. And we want to enable our teachers to innovate. And the way we do that is to have them represented by a body that is full of competency. Now, all you have to do is look at that side of the house to see what elections bring about. You've got people that are cut from the same cloth rather than people that have core competencies. And certainly it is true what we've heard on this side of the house, that this is not top of mind for teachers from a government that spent billions on tertiary education yet promised to support teachers. Where is this government with respect to pay negotiations? A big, fat fail. We need to support our teachers and recognise them for the work they do. We need to move on from this ideological situation that the unions have put us in and innovate with regards to teaching. And that's what the current uh, Education Teaching Council does. That's what the current uh, council does. We have core competencies, uh, appointed members that represent teaching across the sectors that are there to enforce standards, to make sure that all teachers uh, meet the bar, to improve teaching performance, and that's not necessarily done the way it was in the 1950s. Let's look at innovating. Let's look at actually our communities of online learning, which I believe that the government is looking to scrap also. I can tell you that I'll be opposing that one, given that my students in Stewart Island learn singing from a teacher in Nelson. And with respect to... Uh, point of order, Jamie Strange. Would the member like me to give her a copy of the bill so she can... Oh, I have a copy of the bill. The bill. Oh, just order. Sit down. It's enough of that. Both sides. I do not need help from uh, Jamie Strange or anyone else. It is the sole decision of the chair. I want to, I've given two warnings. This is the third and final. I don't usually give third warnings. The member needs to speak to the bill. Sarah Dowell. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Well, Mr Speaker, I, I am speaking about education in general and what is planned uh, by this government. And certainly this bill, in my opinion, is uh, a waste of money. It's about a name change. And it's simply playing around with a configuration that won't bring about core competencies. What it says in the bill, Mr Strange, is it's a pres prescription 
a list of teachers that hold various positions. Now that does not ensure competency. It does not ensure competency through election, because let's face it, when you look over that side of the house, any old Joe Bloggs can stand. So we want a council that is going to perform, that is going to raise the bar, that is going to innovate and hold our teaching profession in high esteem, because let's face it, these are people that shape the minds and hearts of our future, and we need to make sure that New Zealand is in a fit place uh, to lead going forward. I call Jamie Strange. Mr Speaker, I appreciate the opportunity to talk about the Education Teaching Council.